What is your most precious possession? What is your most precious possession? I'm going to say it again because it's so important to your life. What is your most precious possession? A musician just died at the age of 60. He didn't know what his most precious possession was. He'd still be alive. And of course it's not money. But there's a hierarchy of needs. But everybody in the world, five or six billion people, they have the same most precious possession. Of course there's many others. But this is a fundamental one. Without this one, you have nothing. Please email me at drwinphd gmail.com drwinphd gmail.com I'll tell you the answer drwinphd gmail.com You have to know what your most precious possession is and I ask people of this all the time nobody has given me the answer yet. I asked one lady, she has four children. She didn't know what her most precious possession is. I asked another man, and I asked him, and if you don't know what your most precious possession is, life is tough enough. Life is survival of the fittest and the wittest. Life is survival of the fittest and the wittest. And it's tough enough, so you've got to know what your most precious possession is. And when you email me, you're going to find out. Dr. Wynn, PhD, gmail.com. Most people destroy themselves. A good illustration is these ladies and men I see walking around that way two and three, sometimes 400 pounds. They're wearing out their ankles, their knees, and their hips. Carlos does not regenerate. And of course, that little heart has to pump blood to all those body weight. They don't have a clue what the most precious possession is because they're gonna have pain. One person I know, has bone, bone on bone, the cartilage is all gone, and that leaves pain. So you have to learn about life, you have to learn about your body, you have to learn about your spirit, you have to keep a good attitude. And by the way, stress kills. S-T-R-E-S-S. -S. A Canadian physician named Hans Tellier created the name stress and the concept of stress and stress is bad for your whole body, your heart, your blood vessels, your nerves. Stress kills. So you have to learn about stress and all these other things. I went to college for 10 years, UCLA and USC, and mostly studied people. Stress kills. So, the interesting thing about stress is, if you have stress, that's one thing, but if you don't go out of the stress, it increases. In fact, the end result of stress, if you don't get out of stress, is death. So this is serious. The answer to this question is very serious for your life and the life of your loved ones. So just email drwinphd at gmail.com and um, we'll get you the answer. Your most precious possession. Think about it. Drwinphd gmail and you'll find out an important ingredient of life.